Taking a quick look underneath the hood here. Part of this setup is this T3 stainless manifold. These are available on WC Fab's website. They're perfect for building a turbo kit off of. Uh, turbochargers, an HX35 variant. This one specifically has a 11 blade wheel set up more or less. Better suited for the 2.8 liter. Intercooler pipe on the hot side, intake, and a WC Fab coolant tank to wrap everything up. Of note, they are, my understanding is they are not, this is more or less a one-off deal. They're not gonna make any of these in the future, unfortunately. Ignore the actuator setup. At this point, the computer still likes to see the actuator plugged in to run properly. Still working on ironing that out. So that's a little jank, but nonetheless, it works. So pretty straight uh, install. The, the main benefit of this system, I mean, amongst other things, but for a from a maintenance standpoint, very easy to boost test this truck because the turbocharger is up here at the top of the engine and you're not trying to snake the, the faceplate for a boost tester down here next to the side of the block. So this has been a real, real treat and it makes it pretty much excuseless if you're gonna, you know, boost that truck every oil change, you pretty much have no excuse. It's, you know, a couple clamps and you get right to the face of the turbocharger. So we'll let this thing uh, warm up and we'll take it for a rip. Actually in the process of switching wastegates, I uh, had a, about a 30 PSI wastegate set up in there now, moving to something that's gonna be to the mid to upper 40s. But I figured I'd show you the, the compressor wheel because what turbo video would be complete without going, Whee! Oh yeah.